So a good question just came up. He's not wrong, okay? So a good question just came up. You could put parentheses here, and, and this will actually be the same thing regardless of if you put parentheses or not. And that's because the idea is when you went when you go back, if you were to put this back into a single logarithm, see if I see if I see this and I just let's cross it, let's not look at the single logarithm. I'm going, okay, here's the exponent. This is log of x to the twelfth. Here's the exponent plus log of y to the one half. I should be putting parentheses in here though minus log of z to the sixth with or without the parentheses will you still be dividing by z to the sixth and it turns out you will because you go in order here you're going to go okay i want a single logarithm since i'm adding here i'm multiplying that's x to the 12th times y to the one half and since i'm subtracting this i'm dividing but you, I think you're thinking, well, I'm only dividing this by z to the sixth, right? But it actually, because this is all one big multiplication problem, there's a one underneath here, one times z, if you multiply across the same thing, log of x to the 12th times y to the 1 half divided by because 1 times z to the 6 is z to the 6. So either way, I would it wouldn't be wrong to put parentheses outside, but you wouldn't necessarily have to. Okay. Because of the multiplication and division. All right, let's go back to something else we were talking about um, last time. Some of you don't have these modern calculators that allow you to put in the log base, right? So what did you have to do? In order to do the log base, you only have two options on your calculator. We said you have log base 10 and you have log base E. But how many different bases could you have? You could have an infinite number of bases. So we have to have a way to change the base. And so you can use your log and your ln by saying log of the number divided by log of the base. And so I always remember that the base goes in the bottom because you have 50-50 chance, right? Where are you going to put the base? But the base goes in the bottom, okay? Use your calculator to evaluate the following. LN of five. So all of these, you're just using your calculator to evaluate. So, and we kind of did this a little bit before. So let's just practice this. Take the LN of five, enter. And we want to round to the nearest thousands place. And that's a good opportunity for us to talk about place value. When I say round to the thousands place, what decimal place is that? How many places? Yes, this is three places. Okay, so let's practice trying these. So we have equals, or actually we could put approximately equals, 1.609. Is that rounded correctly? Yes. Okay, try log of 2. You can try this on your calculator along with me. This is approximately equal to 0 0.301. Now, if I don't have my log base, and I think I was showing, I hope I showed on the video, I'm not sure, so let me just do it again. If you have a newer calculator and you press the math button, by the way, you can make your decimals into fractions. That's what that means, frac, math frac. And then if we scroll down, you might have this option for log base, and if you press enter, it will allow you to enter the base of two and then scroll over and enter five. So that would give us approximately 2.32, and what would you round it to? Another two, right? Does everybody see why I rounded that up? Now, if that's, you know, that's kind of a lot of steps to go into that menu. So if you just did the change of base, which would, what would I enter for the change of base? Log of five divided by what? Log of two. And why, do it, why did I put two in the denominator? Because two is the base. Okay, so I go log of five close the parentheses, divided by log of two, close the parentheses, enter. 
oh, notice I get the exact same thing. Okay, so that's that you can always use that option. I think it's actually a little bit faster in a way. What would happen if I did ln of five divided by ln of two? I also get the exact same thing. So that would be how you could use the change of base on an older graphing calculator or maybe even um, a regular scientific calculator. Now this one, you could use the calculator, but do you remember what this is gonna be? Log base five of five? It's equal to one. Mm -hmm. What about 25, log base 25 of five? So notice this is 25 to the what power equals five? Yes, or half. It's the, yes, 0.5 is the same thing as half. So yes, that's right. And it's because, what is the one half power? Remember what that means? The one half power is the? Square root, yes. So let's try this one on the calculator too. You could do log five, close the parenthesis. If you don't close the parenthesis, you won't get the right answer. Divided by, because it will all be in one. Divided by log of five. Oh, oops, I did it the wrong way, didn't I? I meant to say log of five divided by log of 25. Log of five divided by log of 25, and that gives us 0.5, good. And then let's try this one. So on my calculator, I'm gonna go log of, of 50 divided by log of 25. Log of 50 divided by, oops. All right, clear, start over. Are you trying this too? Log of 50 divided by log of 25. And that gives us, rounded off is 1.21. Five. Is that what you got? Wonderful. Any questions on that part?